fine and doing great. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Vithalam Academy, which is an online learning platform. Myself, Bhavesh Patel. Today in this video, we will solve chapter number 8, Linear Equations, exercise 8, question number 11 to 20 of Olympiads and Talent Search Competitions book by R.S. Agarwal and Vikas Agarwal. It will help you to solve quickly, increase your confidence level, sharpness and smartness, perform better in Olympiads and other competitive exams. So let's solve one by one. A student was asked to find 7 8 of a positive number. He found 7 by 18 of the same by mistake. And his answer was 770 less than the correct one. Then the original number was, so let's say original number is x. So he was asked to do 7 by 8 of x, that means 7x minus 8. That's what he has to do. The answer, correct answer was, let's say y. But what he did, 7x by 18 and he got answer some wrong. And that wrong was, it was 770 less than the correct one. That means it was y minus 770. Now we know here y equals to 7x by 8. Let's place the value. So 7x by 18 equals to 7x minus 8. That is the value of y minus 770. Therefore, let's take this 770 on left hand side. So it is plus 770 equals to 7 x common inside the bracket 1 by 8 minus 1 by 18 7 if I remove it is 1 1 0 correct therefore 1 1 0 equals to x and let's take 18 into 8 so here we'll multiply by 18 here we'll multiply by 8 so 18 minus 8, so it is 10. 0, 0 get cancelled. Therefore, x equals to 11 into 18 multiplied by 8. 18 multiplied by 8 is 144. 11 fours are 44. 4 carry over. 11 fours are 44 plus 4, so 48. Then again, 4 carry over. 11 ones are 11 plus 4, that is 15. So 1, 5, 8, 4. So 1, 5, 8, 4 means D. Answer is D. Next. A number is multiplied and divided by the number 7 by 19. 7 by 19 means it is less than 1. The difference between the two results is 3, 1, 2. Now the there is a difference. Difference means higher minus lower or you can say bigger minus smaller. Bigger result minus smaller result and that is 312. It is a positive. Now remember when we divide any number less than 1 and the same number multiplied by again the same less than number 1 then the division result will be higher than the multiplication results. For example, suppose 5 is the number and 7 by 19 is let's say approximately 0.4. So when I divide this 5 divided by 0.4, how much it is? 5 into 10. So this becomes 4. This is 2, 5. So it is 5, divide, 5 divided by 0.4 equals to 5 by 4 into 10. So it is 2, 5, so 25 by 2, 12.5. Division. When I multiply by this 0.4, it is 2. Correct? So this division, the results of the division is greater than the, the results of the multiplications. Therefore, the equation here, let's the given number is x. So, equation will be x divided by 7 by 19 minus x 
multiply by 7 by 19 equals to 312 and it is not reverse okay remember this whenever we divide a certain number by less than 1 obviously the division will be results of division will be higher than the results of multiplications therefore the equation becomes like this now just simplify it is 19 x by 7 minus 7 x by 19 equals to 312 let's take the lcm 7 and 19 so it is 19 7 is 133 so just keep 19 7 only because we have to further do some more multiplications so 312 here will multiply by 19 here will multiply by 7 so 19 9 are that means 19 9 are 171 so it is 1 17 carry over 19 1 are 19 plus 17 so it is 36 so 361 x minus 49 x now 361 x minus 49 x that means let's do the subtraction so it is 2 6 becomes 5 so it is 1 and against 3 so 312 x equals to 312 into 19 into 733 so this 312 312 get cancelled therefore x equals to 133 so answer is d next A total cost of three calculators and two pens is rupees 745. If one calculator cost is rupees 40 more than a pen, then the price of each calculator. So pen cost, let's say X, X rupees. Therefore, calculator cost equals to rupees pen cost that is X plus 40. Then three calculator cost plus two pence is rupees 745. So three calculator cost that is x plus 40 e plus two pen cost that is 2x equals to 745 rupees. Now just simplify and find out the x. So 3x plus 120 plus 2x equals to 745. Therefore it is 5x equals to 745 minus 120 120 so it is 5 2 6 625 therefore x equals to 625 by 5 that is 125 but x is what this is pen's cost correct we have assumed it is pen cost and we have to find out the price of calculator so calculator cost is this so it is 125 plus 40 that means it is rupees 165 so that's the answer b next shifting of shifting one term from one side to an equation to the other side will change a sign is known as transpositions Transposition is the process of shifting of one term from one side to the another side by changing the sign. If it is addition, it will be subtraction. If it is a subtraction, it's additions. If it is a multiplication, it will be division. And if it is a division, it will be multiplications. Next. In a test, Ankur's code half as many marks as scored by Punit. So let's say Punit score is X. Therefore, Ankur score is half of Punit. So it is X by 2. If 2 times of Ankur's marks, so 2 times of Ankur's marks means X by 2. And three times of Punit's mark, so three times of x, add up, so that's a plus, add up to 320, so equals to 320, the marks obtained by Ankur, so Ankur is x by 2, correct, so it is, this is gone, so it is 4x, 
फोर एक्स इक्वल्स टू थ्री ट्वेंटी दफोर एक्स इक्वल्स टू एटी एंड एक्स इज द पुनित स्कोर दफोर अंकुर स्कोर इज एटी बाई टू दैट मीन्स इट इज फोर्टी सो आंसर इज बी नेक्स्ट when a certain number n is divided by 5 so n divided by 5 and added to 8 so let's say added to 8 the result is equal to equal to thrice the number subtracted from 4 so thrice the number subtracted from 4 therefore let's find out the n so this is the equation so let's simplify here it is n plus Let's keep n three uh, n this side. So n by five plus three n equals to minus four. Then this is five as a LCM. So n plus fifteen n equals to minus four. Therefore, sixteen n equals to five minus four into five. Therefore, n equals to Minus four into five by sixteen. Four fours are cancelled. Therefore, it is minus five by four. So n equals to minus five by four. Therefore, it is B. Next, A has rupees ninety six. B has rupees sixty three. How much money should B give to A so that A will have? Twice as much money as B. So let's say this B give X rupees to A. So after giving X rupees, the equation is A will have A will have twice twice, and A will have. How much presently he has ninety six plus x rupees he got. So two times ninety six plus x ninety six plus x is the amount. So it becomes twice the. A will have twice as much money as B. So it is sixty three minus x. This two will be here. So this ninety six plus x money A will have, and sixty three minus x money B will have after giving. So you know, A will have two times the B. So this is the equation. Now solve ninety six plus x equals to two into sixty three. So two into sixty three means it is hundred and twenty six minus two x. Therefore, three x equals to one hundred and twenty-six minus ninety-six. So, one hundred and twenty-six minus ninety-six is thirty. Therefore, x equals to ten. So, B should give rupees ten to A. Next, my younger sister's age today is three times. What it will be three years from now? Minus three times what her age was three years ago. So as present age is, let's say present age is x years. Then three years from now, the age will be x plus three years. And three years before or ago, it was x minus three years. Correct. Now, what it is given? My younger sister age today, that is present age, that is x, is three times what it will be three years from now. So, three times x plus three. Minus three times what her age was three years ago. So x minus three, three times x minus three. 
Now just simplify. X equals to 3X plus 9 minus 3X plus 9. 3X, 3X get cancelled. So it is 18. So X equals to 18 years. That is the present age. Next. In a group of buffaloes and ducks, the number of legs is 24 more than the twice the number of heads. What is the number of buffaloes in the group? So the difference of legs is 24. So obviously if you compare the difference between buffalo and duck's leg, it is 2. Buffalo has 4 legs, duck has 2 legs. So therefore difference is 2. So obviously the answer will 12. That's a quick answer. But let's calculate. Say uh, in a group, group of buffalo and ducks, the number of legs is this. What is the number of buffalo? So let's say buffalo is B and ducks is D. Okay, number of buffaloes is B and number of ducks is D. Now what it is given equation? The number of legs. So if I talk about heads, number of heads first. Number of heads equals to B plus D. Then number of legs. So 4 times buffalo plus ducks 2 times. And what it is given? The number of legs. That means this 4B plus 2D equals to more than the twice the number. 24 more than. Correct? So it is 2 times B plus D plus 24. Now just simplify this 4B and this 2B. So 4B minus 2B plus 2D minus 2D equals to 24. 4B minus 2B is 2B. This 2D, 2D cancels. So 2B equals to 24. Therefore, B, number of buffaloes, is 12. That's what we have to find out. So answer is D. Next. A farmer has some hens and some cows. So let's say H hens and C cows. That's the numbers of hens and cows respectively. If the total number of Animal heads is 59. That means H plus C equals to 59. The total number of feet is 190. So hands has two uh, legs. So 2 times H and cows has four legs. So 4 times C equals to 190. Now two equations, two on variables. So we can find out. So let's multiply this equation by 2. Why 2? Because here it is 2H. So if I multiply this by 2, it is 2H plus 2C equals to 59 into 2. That means 8. 5 to the 10 plus 1. So 118. Now just subtract. So this 2 get cancelled. Here it is 2C equals to 190 minus 118. There it is 72. Therefore C equals to 36. That's what we have to find out. How many cows? So cows are 36. Answer C. So that's all about solutions of question number 11 to 20, exercise A, chapter number 8, linear equations of Olympiads and Talent Search Competitions book by R.S. Agarwal and Vikas Agarwal. Once again, myself, Bhavesh Padel from Vithalam Academy. For any query, doubt, suggestions, you can reach us via mail. Our mail ID is Vithalam Academy at the rate gmail.com. That is V I W T H I L M A C A D M Y at the rate gmail.com. So thank you and wish you all the best.